Damn, Skipper, it's good to be back at sea, Commander Brad Spanky McFarlane proclaimed. Standing in his trademark pose, hands on hips, chest out, chin jutting, he always seemed bigger than he actually was. Short reddish hair ruffled in the wind on his uncovered head as he stared through the newly replaced glass windows in the pilot house of USS Walker, DD-163, past the busy sailors around the number one gun on the forecastle, and out at the white-capped Purple Sea. The detail on the forecastle was largely composed of furry, long-tailed Lemurian cats, as was nearly all the old four-stacker destroyers crew these days. Similar details still worked all over the ship to patch her many, but thankfully this time relatively minor, wounds. The ship looked like hell, battered and rust-streaked from battle and toil, but was steaming easy, and the cats at the big brass wheel and engine order telegraph, EOT, seemed relaxed and satisfied with how she handled. Overseeing repairs to the forward 4-inch 50 caliber gun, tracing balky wiring from the director, was an amusingly contrasting trio. The giant chief gunner's mate, Dennis Silva, the veritable Hercules of the Grand Alliance, seemed to be aping Spanky's pose as he loomed over the diminutive, furry fireplug that was Chief Bosun's mate, Jeek. And for no other reason than he apparently never left Silva's side, the Grick-like Sa'aran named Lawrence was there, standing slightly back out of the way. Unlike the sailors in t-shirts and dungarees, or blue kilts on the cats, Lawrence wore only a new tie-dyed combat smock, sunlight flashing on the dark plumage of his tail, crest, and orange and near-black tiger-striped pelt on his arms and legs. Occasional humorous snippets of Silva's profane and bombastic declarations regarding how the work should proceed and Jeek's adamant denunciations could be heard. All this was punctuated by the cawing shrieks of a small, fuzzy, tree-gliding reptile draped around the back of Silva's big neck like a sweat rag. Captain Matthew Reddy, Commander-in-Chief of All Allied Forces, Sincaf, and High Chief of the American Navy and Marine Clan, leaned slightly back in the chair bolted to the starboard side forward bulkhead of the pilot house. 